Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. LSU spring football comes to an end on Saturday with the spring game. So here with me to preview the offense is LSU beat writer Jim Klein-Peter. Hey Jim, nice to see you. Hi Rachel. Well, we've discussed on previous shows the emergence of wide receiver DJ Chark. He's found the end zone several times this this spring, and but the running back rotation is something that, that we've also started to talk about. Of course, Leonard Fournette, we've heard he's been just awesome this spring. So can fans expect to see that similar kind of burst he showed in his freshman year? Yeah, I think so, and they'll, they'll probably see a better uh, Leonard Fournette. I, uh, the defense has uh, had the better of it overall, but but they haven't really uh, stopped Leonard Fournette too much. Too much. Um, and he's going to be in a new role. Uh, he's a sophomore, but he's the uh, oldest running back in the backfield now. Uh, he and soft, fellow sophomore Darrell Williams. So uh, I think they, they, they want Leonard Fournette to get um, uh, mentally prepared for, for, for shouldering the burden. I think they did a good job. Of, you know, he led them in rushing last year, but they did a good job of, of limiting his carries and keeping him fresh for the fourth quarter. But he's going to have to run the ball more for them this year, um, in uh, more in the short yardage situations. And I think LSU fans are going to be pleasantly surprised to see da how, how well Darrell Williams plays. He's been playing well too, but it's it's hard to get out of Leonard's shadow sometimes. And I think uh, uh, fans will be pleasantly surprised with how he does. A uh, very self-effacing young man. Uh, uh, very humble and um, uh, similar in style to Fournette, maybe not as fast. Right, so all the running backs who are on campus right now should be players to watch on Saturday and Leonard Fournette and also the guys behind him. Now, Jim, leading into Wednesday's show, let's talk a little bit about the coaches. Players have raved about the aggressive style of both Kevin Steele and Ed Ogeron on the defensive side. So do you see some of that coming out on Saturday? Yeah, I think John Chavis' defense was a little bit more, uh, it wasn't as aggressive. I think uh, it was on first and second down, but he laid, he kind of laid back on third down. You didn't see a lot of blitzing. I think you're going to see a lot more of that, not just blitzing, but you're going to see the defensive linemen uh, trying to make plays. But, uh, there are going to be more times where they're going to be able to play off of instinct, and if they if if what they see is, is correct, then they can make a play or they can penetrate into the backfield and make a tackle. Christian Lockature told me that he he uh, stopped Leonard Fournette a couple of times for uh, for losses in one scrimmage. <laughs> Big accomplishment right there. And we'll talk a, a lot more about the defense and what fans can expect coming up on Wednesday. Well, Jim, thanks a lot. Nice to see you. My pleasure, Rachel. And join us again on Wednesday for another edition of Talking Tigers. Thanks for watching.